welcome to the oh my god seriously I gotta cough welcome back to another plasticon review today we're gonna cover some more gundam when i'm talking gundam i'm call, talking the uh campfire this guy is basically a soldier of war he's just got so many things going on I do like the fact that he really does have a decent stance where he almost looks like, you know, and punch someone in the face. But then again, he can break out this extremely long mine whip. It's got a big pointy thing on the end of it. This whip is actually kind of cool. It does actually have some posability to it, which is pretty nice. And it's somewhat flexible, considering the whole thing's made of hard plastic. He also comes with a really really large loadout of weapons such as a couple mines on the ends of sticks these gigantic grenades are kind of cool I do like the fact that they can just plug right in where his hand goes it's a decent little gimmick not to mention you can just plug him onto the side of his leg so if you just want to carry him around the other cool thing he comes with is an assault rifle and this little assault rifle is actually pretty neat I do like it. It comes with the little the gun and it's just a cool little accessory. I don't mind it at all. It's kind of nice just to have another weapon for him. It does actually have the good old hand swap gimmick and the hand swap gimmick is just as easy as it always has been. Taking a closer look at him though, he's very cool. I do like the colors of him. Although he's completely blue, he's actually got some yellow here, just kind of in the chest here. It's a little like a couple lights, maybe, you know. It looks like he's got a big old frog chest. I just, I find this hilarious. I do like it. He does uh, have a bit of a uh, ball jointed head. It's not a lot, but it's enough to actually get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of moment out of there. It's not too bad. The arms actually are fairly well when it comes to posing. I mean, they're pretty decent, and he actually can curl pretty good. I do like that about him. He does have these uh, large shoulder pod things. One's pointy and the other one isn't. I like this asymmetrical look. This is really cool. I've always liked asymmetrical robots when you just actually have just a slight difference on one side. It's pretty neat, and you know, it's not actually too bad when it comes to posability. The legs actually have some pretty good range. He does have a good toe on him. And, you know, it's it's a pretty good hinge. It's it's not bad at all. I do like the fact that, you know, he does kind of go back a little far. But the thing that gets in the way are these thrusters. He's got a couple thrusters here that are on his hip skirts here that move around. Which is kind of nice. That way, you know, when you put him on the uh, Gundam stand, and he is also included with, you know, you can pose those things. Uh, the back ones are painted but they do not move those are just not movable at all doesn't really have another one here that's not really a port to plug it in the only port he has is right here on his bum but that's not too bad I do like the fact that he does have a few places that you can stick him on a gun and stand he's not he's not too terrible when it comes to posing he's pretty decent I do like him a lot He's very chunky and huge, and I like the fact that he's just got a bit of a decent soldier aesthetic to him. But that's all I've got for you guys on this review. I've got plenty more coming your guys' way. And this has been Plasticon, and this is me signing off. Peace out, you guys. See you around. Bye!